welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming, this time around in English as you may already have noticed and today I will now cover three different games again which will be in this case Mr. Ballet, Freestyle Swimming Race 3D and Rhythm World Master. My name is Gerald and as always I've got a couple of different input devices with me and stuff like that, so the Arc Mouse as the mouse input stuff. We will use of course the uh, keyboard, follow keyboard, which is this one, uh, which will be used for keyboard input of course, and um, in general and yeah, some kind, somehow a little bit, um, the Xbox One as well as controller can be used in uh, some of the games. Um, there is one in the lineup that is doing something with the Xbox One as well as controller, but I'm not really sure uh, what I have to think about that and why it is doing that. Um, in the end, it's a rhythm game, and for instance, uh, the Xbox One as wireless controller will vibrate for some reason in, uh, if you have it activated and play, you are playing with it. Um, there are a couple of other things you can do with it, but you can't really play with it as far as I have tried it out at least. So I'm not sure what to, to think about that, and I will just leave it off for now because otherwise you're just losing your battery and. Um, yeah, you might want to put it somewhere on your knee or something to, to have that uh, vibration if you like it. Um, for instance, if, you're, if you are trying to get a better rhythm feeling or something like that. But uh, in the end, you don't really need it for that. Okay, um, and of course, uh, with the input devices out of the way, we need, of course, the Lumia 950 XL in this case or something like this. This is my smartphone I'm going to use here. Um, it's a Windows 10 mobile uh, device uh, with Windows 10 ARM on it, so if you want to know more about it, please have a look at the corner there. And um, of course, uh, this is a Continuum enabled device, which can, for instance, be connected with a USB-C connector at this point, so the cable can be connected with the um, display dock, which is standing at the side here, and the display dock itself can be connected to the TV, and like that we can have this kind of yeah, desktop-like experience we have here, control it with our mouse, so have a mouse pointer and stuff like that. And um, yeah, then you can just do, for instance, games with it, or you can of course uh, try to work, work with it, uh, doing office work or something like that. And yeah, that is what Continuum is all about. Please have a look at the corner up there to know and get to know more about it, because there are other videos I have covered that in more detail. And yeah, other than that, I would say let's start with the first game, and the first game is Mr. Ballet. And just to let you know before we start with this episode, um, the games we are going to play today are a little bit on the strange side, more or less all of them. Um, so let's have a look. Mr. Ballet is yeah, graphically really, really not very um, sophisticated or something, but um, there is a strange little play principle in there, or, or whatever you want to call it. This is Mr. Ballet. Uh, Mr. Ballet is just shooting arrows, or better to say um, laser, lasers. Let's say lasers. I think it's lasers. Um, and he's just standing at one point and you have to kill, for instance, ninjas and other stuff that is placed somewhere on the map. And um, yeah, there are different options to do that, and I will show you wow, what's going on there. Some of the levels, especially the first ones, uh, are that easy to solve, or, or not even there's not even a task or something, if you ask me. So um, keep on doing it. After a while, it's going to be a little bit harder, but the first ones are really, really just boring, if you ask me. So uh, you could, for instance, just cut off, uh, I don't know, the first five or something like that could be cut off and there could only be one to get accustomed to everything, so like a tutorial, everything else should be in the more sophisticated ways the others after that are. So um, you really don't have to start with those. Go in, for instance, with eight or something, it might be better. Okay, so we are going to have a look here. And um, yeah, this is, this is still one of the very easy ones. As you can see, it's a very simple uh, game in, in itself. So you have a couple of bullets there. Um, so you can shoot 12 times in this case. And yeah, it's very easy the first, uh, first couple of uh, levels, as I told you before, because uh, with 12 bullets, you're really easily going to kill them. 
Um, but later on you will have other kinds of, of uh, tasks to do and yeah, let's see what's going on here. So you're just going to use your mouse, point it at somebody and just shoot. And that's more or less it. And in this case it will really take care of all these different ninjas and guys you're going to have to kill here. And as you can see, you're not going to move around or something, you're just standing where you are and you're just trying to aim at them and try to kill them. So let's go to the menu and see if I can go to one of the later levels. Let's say 20 or something. Not, I'm not sure if I already played that or not. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this one is, is easy too. There have been a couple of others in between which are more or less more hard to solve already. Because um, one of the things that you really don't see very well in these kind of, of levels, let's see which one I can show you. I think it's going to be better after that. Let's see. So, um, some, yeah, here for instance, you can see it. Um, in this case, there's going to be some kind of a, yeah, let's say pool billiard like um, game going on because laser. Uh, the laser ray you are going to shoot out is going to be reflected by these kind of walls and then you really have to to try to get the right angle, try to to have the, the really right version here and um, just try to shoot them. So just point your, your laser pointer thingy here to where you think it would be reflected in a good way to, to shoot them um, in the end, you just have to hit them any way they are, so it's often very easy too. But as you can see, like this, you are going to have a little bit of a yeah challenge, a challenge about that. And there are going to be other games or other levels which are more sophisticated after that. So, as I mentioned before, I don't know why there are that many very very easy levels, but after a while, it's going to be quite yeah quite nice. To uh, get rid of some time. Okay, in this case, for instance, you can, for instance, interact with these um, with these boxes here, and you can't shoot them directly. You have to interact with the boxes so that they fall on them. In general, it's not very hard to do that, as you can see, very easy. But now we are getting some kind of a gravity-like uh, experience here, and that is going to be more interesting. And um, yeah, in this case, for instance, you can shoot on this uh, lower wooden um, box here. The wooden box will will uh, be shot uh, or explode, whatever. Not really explode. It's just going to spread away or something. And after that, the TNT one will fall on the guy and that will kill him. Yeah, and you see, like this, the games as, or the levels are going to be more and more interesting to play with. You will have, for instance, some crowbars, you will have, for instance, some stuff where you have to, for instance, open doors and stuff like that. And um, let's see if we can find something like this. After a while, it's just, yeah, more fun to play this game. And uh, again, it's a little bit strange why there are that many very easy levels in this. But after a while, it's going to be uh, quite interesting. For instance, like this, um, here you will uh, have to inter interact with the uh, gravity again. So, if, for instance, you're shooting at this point, there is, of course, the chain which is holding this bar. And if you shoot at that, then the bar will go up and stuff like that. And you will have to, to kill them. And as you can see, it's not that easy anymore. In some situations they are going to die from just falling, sometimes, it's the first time I had that, there seems to be a bug with, uh, with, uh, um, with the gravity in this case, but in general it's yeah pretty nice to play and as you can see, you will have to, uh, to really get accustomed to something, because uh, for instance the laser, laser ray you are going to shoot out is not going to fly forever, so it's, let's see, yeah, that worked pretty well, so it's easy again. But as you can see, it's going to be more sophisticated, more interesting to play those levels and yeah, try it out. It's a small little game, it's uh, going to be interesting in some aspects, uh, in others it's really just plain boring if you ask me, but just try it out and uh, you might like it or you don't like it, just try it. Okay, 
So, next uh, game in this lineup is Freestyle Swimming uh, Race 3D. And this is a uh, yeah, swimming race game. Um, in general, it's more like a manager for a swimming guy or something, or a swimmer. Um, let's see what that is all about. It's looking mediocre, I would say. Um, mediocre, yeah, good 3D, but in the end, uh, it's an interesting approach at least. So um, I didn't know wh how they would do, for instance, swimming in this case. And in this case, um, swimming is just done by by more or less giving the swimmer a boost, and you have to click on uh, at the right uh, time and stuff like that. Let's see what uh, this is going to be. Um, it's more or less a complex simulation, if you ask me, because you are going to level up stuff, and it's a level up game with with a little bit of yeah getting inter uh, getting to interact with everything. So as you can see, this is a this is the main screen. Um, it's going to be challenges you are going to have to do. As you can see here are different challenges, a lot of them. And of course it's going to be harder and harder if you're playing them. Um, let's have a look at challenge 2 first. If I go there, I can click on play event and then you're just going to start and play this event. And like this, what's going to happen here is, I will turn around a little bit, what's going to happen here is that you are this guy, you can of course upgrade the, the optics of that guy and, and give him other, other options here. And then you are just going to, uh, to get money if you are winning this game of course, and like that you can upgrade him more and more and, and get better and better at it. So let's play this event. If I click on that, as you can see this is more or less the optic you will, uh, will experience here, so a 3D optic. Yeah, simple one, but still nice enough. And uh, now you just hit go in this case. And you don't have to do much, but click on this button and try to hit the bar. So the better you are going to hit the green bar there, the better it's going to be. And you have to click again to activate the boosting. So, and as you can see, at the moment we are more or less winning this. First level is pretty easy after a while because I already have a very good swimmer or a better swimmer than uh, would be needed for that. I will show you what that means in a couple of seconds, but as you can see we are going to pretty much get that one. Don't forget to click again. If you're not boosting or something it's not going to, uh, to work out for you. Oh! He even got me. I think the, the yellow one at the, at the back there got me there. Um, so just click on the click on the um, button again and again. Try to get a perfect uh, uh, score because perfect is really boosting you a lot. Uh, good is just keeping you more or less at the same uh, same speed and everything else is bad. So um, let's go to the menu and let's see if I can upgrade him. Do something more. Here you can see this is the start screen. As you can see, you have different options here. For instance, you can change the player name. You can, um, yeah, whatever the player name, and you can of course uh, have a look at your energy level. There is an energy level which me needs to be um, higher after a while again. Um, in the end, you really can play a lot because uh, each and every run you are going to do is more or less two percent or something at least at the start. Um, <coughs> As you can see, we have twenty thousand dollars at the moment, and um, yeah, now you can just go at this part and, for instance, um, try to upgrade him. So I click on upgrade in this case, and as you can see, we have a speed upgrade available. Uh, acceleration is, is something uh, you you want to uh, um, increase, of course. The stamina should be increased, and finish should be increased. So how good you are at the, no, at the uh, at the end of it, so more or less a sprint or something. I'm not sure what that is called for swimming guys, but this is it's a sprint more or less. And after that, you really can uh, can see what your guy uh, is at the moment at, and try to upgrade him. You can always see the money you are going to spend on the, the upgrade at this point. So for shorts, for instance, um, a coach is uh, 45,000, 25,000 for better glasses. 
pretty damn expensive glasses if you ask me, but whatever. A cap, really, really very expensive. The diet can be changed. Um, you can have a gym, so just going to the gym and, and or gym and um, yeah, more or less becoming stronger and stuff like that. And this will increase your different um, attributes you already have here by the amount it is uh, uh, indicated there. So for instance, a massage, for instance, will give you a better finish, a better acceleration, and uh, even a massage will stay rated. So um, if you, for instance, want to go to one of the higher levels there, at the moment I'm, for instance, trying to get the 41,000 to upgrade my cap, because that will uh, increase the uh, acceleration a lot. So um, for that you can just go uh, click on continue and try to win one of the challenges again. As you may already see, there is a minimum uh, requirement for each level. So if you don't have these, these kind of uh, attributes already, then you're not going to be able to play this. And as you can see, for instance, he's now telling me, hey, you need to upgrade to get these parts. And uh, if not, just go back and try one of the ones you already played once. And in the end, I think the optic is more or less, or the design and stuff like that, the level design is more or less the same in each of them. So you're just going to hire to more or less upgrade the guy. That's because uh, why I said it's more or less a, a swim training uh, or manager uh, part, not something like swimming itself. Okay, so boosting. Let's see. And be aware that there is a little bit of an input lag, so you really want to click earlier than you might think would be normal. Oh, they are going to kill me now. Yeah, okay. Not going to happen. I would need a lot of perfect runs now and I'm not going to get them. One perfect will not give me the lead here. Yeah, we are losing this. No way. Yeah, no way. But in the end I got a little bit better at the, at the back there. At least I'm not the only one that came in that late. But again, just try it again. After that and this is more or less the whole game, so you're not going to have much more to do here. Um, just try to get the rewards. If you are ready with that, you can of course go to the menu again, upgrade your player and try to get, uh, get it working and stuff like that. And after a while you should have enough money to upgrade, for instance, uh, your player again and do stuff. And this is all that's what this game is all about. Okay. Yeah, and then I would say let's have a look at the last game in our lineup today. And the last game in this lineup is Rhythm World Master. And the Rhythm World Master is quite a nice game, quite like something like... I don't know, maybe a uh, guitar girl or something like this. So in this case, I'm not very good in this game, just to let you know. So um, it's not going to be the game that it's bad or something. It's just going to be me that it's bad or something. Um, and in the end, I'm going to play it with the, uh, with the um, follow keyboard, not the Xbox One as wireless controller, because the Xbox One as wireless controller is reacting somehow. I activated it for that. But um, in the end, I can't really play it with it because, for instance, the buttons are not mapped or something. But the vibration of this part is going to be available. So if you want to play it or, or I don't know, put it on your uh, your knee or something, just try it out. Um, it might, for instance, be a good option to get the right rhythm or something. But other than that, you just don't need this one. And uh, in the end, I'm going to play it with my keyboard in this case. And what you are going to have to do is you are going to use JKL, I think. And uh, on the other part, it's going to be FDS. Yeah, FDS, I think that's all. A is not used as I remember. We will see that. Um, and in the end, you will have to, uh, to click on the right buttons in the right rhythm part. Okay, so let's have a look at the game. I'm going to turn around for this game because otherwise it's really going to be extremely hard to do anything in a reasonable fashion. And we are going to, of course, activate sound for that. 
And uh, just to let you know, it's this kind of name. I'm not sure why it's a Chinese name in, in the German or the English version, but whatever. Uh, it's going to be English in-game, so everything is fine to be played here. And yeah, here we are. And um, I might even increase the volume a little bit. Okay, and uh, as you can see there are two options. You can for instance lock in and you can play it offline. So whatever you want to do. I will play it offline at the moment because um, online you're going to play against other players and stuff like that. But offline you can just play it without anybody in, in the furying and stuff like that. So we are going to play it offline in this, uh, this option here. But as you can see they strongly recommend that you are going to play it online for instance if you want to put in your score and of course play against others and stuff like that. Okay. But in this, uh, this case, I'm not going to use that. Okay, so we are going to click on OK here. And uh, now you can see that this is a pretty nice game already. We, we have, for instance, very, very many different um, songs we can play here. A lot of them are already there. You can play it in easy, normal, and if you unlock it, hyper. So pretty. And, um, hard to play then. And there are a lot of different games already available. Some have to be unlocked after that. So if you are going to do, for instance, to this one, you have to unlock them. Probably by buying it. I didn't uh, bother with clicking on it at all. But as you can see, there are a lot of them available in this case. And you can really go through them. And this is only the official library. So, if you are even into more than the official library, you want, for instance, to have your own music or something, there is an editor for that. So, that's a pretty nice and sophisticated um, app already, if you ask me. A little bit like, I don't know, Popstars or like uh, Guitar Hero, more like Guitar Hero. And um, it's really a nice one. Here you can buy more games, for instance, or more, more of the parts, of, for instance. Um, and you can of course, for instance, go through it by yourself or go through it with another player on your side and play it like this. It's, it's pretty nice really done. Uh, up here you can see that you can change the speed of the uh, music you're going to play here. And you can uh, change the offset. And this is something I really, really like about this game. You are able to adjust to your input lag like that. So click on this button. And as you can see, um, because there are different latencies and stuff like that, and input lags, and of course uh, the persons playing are using it a little bit different, you can even adjust that and put it in. And what this uh, will do, it will more or less measure your input lag you are going to have and try to, to get a good, a good uh, reading out of that. And then you can even change it if you want to. And with a reading out of that, you can play this game easier and better than it would be without that. So for that, there are going to be 10 test rounds. And what you have to do here is you are going to wait for the red button, or uh, the yellow button, sorry. The yellow circle or whatever that is called. And wait for it to hit this bar. And if it's hitting that, you are going to press J. Um, don't try to fake it or something, it's not going to help you. You are just going to cheat on yourself by that. And again, if, uh, depending on what you are using, the J button might be the one. You can of course use a touch button on the screen if you want to play it on your smartphone for instance. And it's meant to be used with something like this. But as mentioned before, I had a little of trouble and I just got to the keyboard for that. It might be more fun on this, if you ask me. I'm not sure. Okay, and now I'm just going to hit reset, and now just waiting for the J. And you're not going to get any kind of indication or something. It's not about having something right or wrong in this case. It's really just about getting the right input lag or, or offset, whatever that is called. I have a pretty high one at the moment, so if that is happening, for instance, you get some kind of a little um, squish up in between or something, you might want to uh, do it again. But let's have a look at the game itself. Okay, 
I'm bad in any case, so it doesn't really matter what the, uh, the input lag might be, but just set it up. Um, something, whatever the input lag might be here, you can even measure it like that a little bit. And then just get one of those and choose which kind of, uh, of hardness level or whatever you want to try to play here. I'm going to have a look at, I don't know, maybe... And I'm just going to play the first one. As you can see, there is much to be explored in this game. And I'm going to use the first one now. And I'm just going to put my hands on the keyboard like this. And the other hand on the keyboard like this, of course. And then you really just have to hit the right definitions there. I find it very, very hard to be fast at it. Um, good thing about it, you could play it like this. So just spamming more or less the different keys. I don't don't think that's a, you know, the part you should do here, but in the end you can do it. Um, of course, there's going to be some kind of a different um, different um, score at the at the end like this. And yeah, as you can see, I'm very very bad at it. You can hold, for instance, a button, like it's a Guitar Hero and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that this would be easier to be played with a controller or something. Because otherwise I really have to focus a lot of that. And after a while you are getting accustomed to it, of course. I think you already got how the game is going to work. I'm just very, very bad at it. If you are, for instance, playing an um, instrument, uh, like for instance a keyboard or something, this might be easy. But uh, in the end, I'm playing a keyboard, sometimes at least, and I'm not good at it. So I'm not sure. Just try it out. It's your kind of game. I'm really not good at it. I'm pretty good at Beat Saver or something, but not this one. But if you are good at this kind of game and want to try it out, please do it. I think it would be much easier in this case if I would have, for instance, the keys or something uh, put down below so I would know what to click when. So in this case I have to do all of the mapping to myself, so J, K, L and uh, S, D, F, for instance. And as you can see I got a very, very bad, uh, bad uh, accuracy, uh, accuracy like this. But in the end this is more or less a game and it's pretty fun, it's pretty nicely done and pretty damn yeah, large even, especially if you think about it that you can, for instance, use the editor and do stuff like that. And of course, if that is not your, your nice way to play it, you can of course change the trick, for instance, play it again, do it in a different uh, difficulty level and stuff like that. Go to the editor, I think I will have a look at the editor first, no? Not sure what that is all about. Okay, seems to be something... Okay, that's a download link for something else, so you would have to download a, a, a Windows program for that with your computer, and then you could put it in and stuff like that. But again, very, very nice game. I like it very much. You can change between very, very many different uh, different uh, songs, as you might already have seen here, so I'm just going to scroll through this a little bit. As you can see, I don't know how many are there, 30 songs or something like that, or even more. And um, like that, just try it out. It might be your game. Mine, it's not mine, but it's a quite nice game, and I think you should try it out if you are good at this kind of games. So, Guitar Hero fans, try it out. 
And uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening because we are at the end of this episode. I hope you had fun with it and there are a couple of games you liked in this episode. And if so, please give a thumbs up, of course. Um, otherwise, you can, of course, use the other button if it's necessary. And um, yeah, of course, if you didn't subscribe till now, please do that. Um, it's a button down below. And uh, of course, if you have any kind of questions, want to talk about something, please put it into the comments uh, uh, section down below too. And other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We will see us in the next episode of Continuum Gaming next week. And other than that, thanks and bye. Bye.